Well, hello everyone, and welcome to our children and youth gathering video for March 21st, 2021. My name is Anne Ellis, and I am the children, youth, and family minister at Mount Seymour United Church in North Vancouver. And as you can see, I am not filming in the church today. I wonder if you recognize where I am. Do you know this place? Have you been here? on a walk with your family. We're gonna talk a little bit about why I'm here in just a little bit, but before we do that, I wanna let you know about what supplies you need for the video today, which is nothing. Uh, in the email that I sent out to families this week and linked in the description below are some scavenger hunts. Uh, a few different lists that you can print off and take outside and enjoy during this spring break and this wonderful weather. Uh, and so all you need um, for this video today is just to hang out and then your activity will happen later. So before anything else, let's just take a moment to breathe. We remember the words from the book of Job in the Bible that says, the spirit of God has made me and the breath of the creator gives us life. When we breathe, each breath is a spirit breath. The breath of God enters our lungs. Our bodies need oxygen and our souls need the breath of the creator working to heal us from the inside out. So we're gonna take another few spirit breaths in and out. In and out. <sighs> Today I'm filming on the Seymour River, which is part of the unceded and ancestral territory of the Salewatooth people. And they are part of the Coast Salish, which also includes the Squamish and the Musqueam. And they have been stewards of this land from time immemorial. And it is with gratitude and that I say thank you for the opportunity to live, work, and play on this land. I haven't brought a candle with me today because the sun is shining and sparkling on the water and a candle is not needed for us to know that the light of the world shines on each one of us and all around us and within us. Today we're going to think about a word, restore. The word restore is special. It means to bring something back to its former condition. Today's story is about Jesus calming a storm. It's a very familiar story and it might seem a little bit out of place with our healing stories and today's theme word. But don't worry, it will all become clear. Are you ready to hear the story? Matthew 8, verses 18 to 27. And when Jesus got into the boat, all of the disciples followed him. A windstorm arose. And it was so great that the boat was being swamped by waves. But Jesus was asleep. And the disciples went to him and woke him up and said, Jesus, save us. We are perishing. And he said to them, why are you so afraid, you of little faith? And 
And then he got up and he rebuked the winds and the sea. And the sea became calm. The disciples were amazed and said, what sort of man is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? And I wonder what it would be like to be in a storm like that. And I wonder what Jesus' voice might have sounded like when he rebuked the waves. And I wonder what we can know about Jesus from this story. This has been a very hard year for us. Yet, because of the pandemic and all of us trying to stay home and avoid essential travel, our environment has seen a lot of changes, very healthy changes. During this past year, the earth has been ever slowly healing. With fewer cars on the road, going to and from work, and not as many airplanes in the sky, carbon admissions have decreased and people are able to see mountaintops where once they could only see smog. The amount of CO2 in the air that contributes to climate change has decreased. It's still not low enough yet to stop climate change, but it did get better. In 2014, there was a rock slide a ways down the river from where we are on this bridge. It blocked the river like a dam and this whole area was flooded with water. For the next few years, the landscape looked very different here and the fish couldn't spawn up river. People caught the fish and carried them up to the hatchery in trucks. And then when the baby fish were ready to head back downstream, They were caught up in trucks again and took downstream. In 2019, I volunteered to help move the baby fish. People did a lot of work removing the rock slide enough so that now fish can spawn on their own. A new bridge was built up higher and now when the water levels drop in summer, there's a larger beach and a large pool where people can swim. It's been restored but it's changed. Those trees along the edge were flooded for a few years and now they've died. But new trees will grow and new growth has started to appear along the river. In the stories we shared, the disciples were afraid because of the storm and they were afraid that they would drown. Jesus calmed them down in the same way that he calmed the storm. This yet last year has felt like a storm in a lot of ways. It's changed our lives in many ways we didn't think possible. It's been very hard, and yet there are good things that have come from it too. We know now that we can weather the storms with each other and our families and with God. At the beginning of this video, when we talked about breathing, We spent some time to focus on what it means to truly breathe. Oxygen feeds our bodies, just as the Holy Spirit feeds our souls. The oxygen that we breathe comes from nature, from plants, from trees, even algae. And when we breathe out, the plants, the trees, and the algae take the carbon dioxide and turn it back into oxygen. This world was created so that we can take care of each other. 
We take care of the earth and the earth takes care of us. To be cared for and to care. That's what healing is all about. Before we close our time together, I'm gonna to share a little bit about our different scavenger hunt sheets. So this one has lots of different things for your neighborhood. So you can take a walk around your neighborhood and see if you can find all of these things. This one is kind of like an I spy and you can try to find all the things listed down here in this picture but you could also go outside and see if you could find some of these things outside in nature, like different shapes of trees and different shapes of leaves. Now this one is for a nature walk where you can write down things you saw, things you smell, things you heard, things you touched, but maybe not things that you tasted. I don't really recommend tasting things out on walks unless you absolutely know it's something that you can eat. And the salmon berries and the huckleberries are not out yet. So there's not too much out there that you can taste. So maybe skip that one and just add more things that you can see. And there's one more coloring sheet that I found. Look at this. This is a coloring sheet of one of my favorite scripture passages. See, you are a light in the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Remember the rest of the lines? It goes, let's see if I can remember it. Uh, similarly, it would be silly if somebody was to light a lamp and place it under a bowl. No. When somebody lights a lamp, they place it on a table or a desk so it can illumine the entire room. And you, my beloveds, are like that illuminating light. Let your light shine everywhere you go so that everyone you meet will see God's goodness in your bright light. Let's close today with our prayer of healing. You'll remember that it is an action prayer. So I'm going to do it once doing the actions and then I'll do it again and you can follow along. So we pray like this. Loving God, we come to you with hearts, hands, minds, and souls in need of your healing touch. Heal us from the inside out so that we may reach out and help heal our world. Amen. Let's do that one more time. Loving God, we come to you with hearts, hands, minds, and souls in need of your healing touch. Heal us from the inside out. so that we may reach out and help heal our world. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me this week. I hope you have a wonderful spring break and I wanna remind you to go and visit our wish tree and leave a wish. The wishes will be out to be hung on the tree until Easter. And then after that, we're gonna do something really exciting with all of the wishes on the tree. I'm looking forward to telling you about that later. And I also wanna let you know that next week, Palm Sunday, and the following week, Easter Sunday, we're doing one video and one video only. So for Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday, you'll wanna tune in to the video uh, that's also on this channel, uh, but is usually done by Nancy and Carla, uh, and I will be joining them for those two videos for the next two weeks. So I will see you again for a video just for us in a couple of weeks, and until then, 
have a wonderful spring break. Know that I love you and I miss you. Go out and enjoy the sun and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.